Why, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of She is Speed. My name is Lana Roos, and I will be your host for the next few hours as we hang out together and enjoy a beautiful showcase of some unpacking categories. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about the show. If you are new here, She is Speed features women in speedrunning who run games with female protagonists. And although we don't see a lot of this protagonist in unpacking, you'll see how it plays out. It's great. Uh, if you missed last She Is Speed, unfortunately, there was an internet outage that was a little out of our control. And Cutie Roo's run got absolutely destroyed by the internet. Devastating. Turns out the hangers were load-bearing in the game. And as soon as they took off the last hanger, it was all systems down. Um, so we are back to bring back Darkstar today. Couple announcements before we get started. AGDQ 2023 online will be January 8th to 15th. The games list for the first submission period is out and the schedule is set to come out later today as well. So keep your eyes open for that. The second submission period for games released after September 1st is open now until November 12th. So make sure to visit gamesdonequick.com for more info. Also, if you are watching us on YouTube today, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to go to twitch.tv slash gamesdonequick if you're interested in watching our live content. It starts weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. Lots of incredible shows for you to watch, not just this one. Make sure to check them all out. So like I had said, today is a big showcase of unpacking categories. Cutie Roo's gonna take us through it all uh, and I'll let her explain it. Take it away. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you for having me on the show. Uh, I am definitely gonna finish this time. We're gonna finish. The hangers are not gonna win. Low bearing hangers, go away. Uh, but I would love <laughs> to introduce my commentator, uh, Sprinkle Theory, say hi. Hello. And sprinkle theory. Yeah. And um, definitely need some help during this run because I'll tell you right now, Dark Star is going to be quite a run. Um, but I will be ready as soon as I start with my first box opening. And that is when timer will go. Um, would you like to give me the countdown, Sprinkle? Sure. Three, two, one, go. So this is unpacking, Dark Star. We did see this level before, and this is kind of like the intro level into the protagonist and getting into the journey of their childhood home. And so we're kind of unpacking all of the things that they treasured. Um, with this in mind, I am literally trying to do Dark Star. So what Dark Star means is I'm literally going to put everything in the place that it shouldn't belong. And I am going to be putting it in the place where the game is going to allow it to belong, but it's not going to be considered to be, you know, a gold star. So we are looking for that dark star once as soon as I am done with this box. Correct. And normally when you're running this um, or playing this game casually, um, you will receive a gold star. So we are looking for that lovely dark star. That does not look good to me, okay? <laughs> that, is my, that does not look good to me. I don't agree. I mean, you know, um, it's going to be a full moon. I think full moon, dark star. It goes hand in hand, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it does. Um, I am going to be focusing just a little bit here. So um, if you want to further explain um, what I am doing to achieve, you know, Dark Star, uh, like each room is kind of interesting. Um, I have to make sure that I'm not going to put the plushie on the, like the bed because we don't want, um, you know, I, we just, we, we don't want it on the bed. Uh, a lot of right. times if you do put it on the bed, it's going to mark it as like something that is allowed to be there. Um, and so we're just going to try to continue finding places for things to not go. Take right. away. And so <laughs> Sorry. You see, no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, and so as you see, um, Rue has like shoes on the bed. And also you may have noticed that Rue removed the hangers. 
So you'll see this um, increasingly as we go through different levels, but um, Rue will have to move items that have already been placed, um, particularly the hangers. Hangers are <laughs> our best friend. Are we want to be friends? I don't know. Um, hangers be nice to us tonight. Um, but yeah, so we'll be moving a lot of um, items or all the, all the items that we're able to move um, out of the way. Um, so like, for example, and sometimes the items the dark star location or possible dark star location is could be close to the actual location for example the computer tower here it generally um, would go underneath the desk still on the floor um, but as you see it's just over by the chair so um, that is an option <laughs> um, and this first place here we have uh, multiple rooms so um, as we're in the restroom bathroom we're going to be putting things everywhere towels in the tub why not uh and then the lovely kitchen um the kitchens are always the most i think one of the most interesting places to me in this game because they have um interesting things i'm not um a big on cooking or <laughs> anything like that i'm more of a helper i'm a chef's helper um so whatever the chef chef has i'm happy to use so they have a lot of uh different things in the kitchen um you know um that i have i don't have or don't even know how to use <laughs> so <laughs> um and as you can see whereas we're playing normally you know a keyboard in the box with the plates you know that's um uh, an issue but you know here dark star great why not you know like <laughs> <laughs> So we in welcome Dark that. Yes. Uh, so the interesting thing about Dark Star category is that the level ramping on like in the speed run, it actually kind of gets a lot more in um, the next level going forward because what's amazing about Dark Star is that you're able to kind of um, in the first three levels, um, you're able to kind of like not move as much. But then after that, it becomes like a spot where um you know we're trying to like not be move moving so much but the thing with this one is and that's interesting about it is that um uh sorry i'm thinking of we're placing the put the sud stuff um but me. long story short inside these categories um the first three levels are like probably the easier ones just because you're not moving around as much and the boxes are, like there's not as many boxes um, as the level progresses, we have to start being concerned about like, you know, certain items have to be moved. Um, like in this one, we have the hangers, but on top of the hangers, we have like a little sticky note that we have to move. And that is what's going to be considered to be Dark Star. But in the first level, there was nothing that I had to move. It was just me unpacking a box. And so basically, um, What's great about the category is that it gets harder as you climb the levels and the, as each level happens, um, the more you have to move and that's what makes it like a really interesting, neat category to watch. So I definitely recommend checking out, like it's kind of amazing that I'm able to showcase like all the levels just because they are vastly different, um, like, uh, like the 100 uh, achievements. Um, are like, sorry, mouse, go down there. Um, so the 100 achievements, it's kind of nice to see like all the stickers that you get because there's like these little quirky things that you have to do to get them. And so it's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, that's fine, that could go there. Yeah, I'm definitely excited that you're gonna be showcasing that because it is a really cool, um, they have a lot of great achievements in this game. Um, and I have, a, I have a fun fact for <laughs> when we get to that part, so. Make sure to stick around and learn the fun fact. Um, but yeah, so Rue is these hangers. We're going to keep mentioning these hangers because these hangers, <laughs> the hangers get worse. Ah, uh, they do. Okay, they I actually do have a one. slight warning on the last level because there's going to be a lot of like, it's not a flash warning, but I do have to like go back and forth like a lot just because of the hangers. The hangers are just, so the reason why like, Hangers are like the bane of our existence because they're such an awkward hitbox and it, the hitbox is just so like, like why basically? Um, Cause like, if you see this hanger, if I put it like somewhere right here, it's taking up that whole hitbox. So I don't really want it to. 
And like, it's just, they're just so awkward. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. So true. Also, I want to mention, um, with running this game, so we, um, so you have the, um, 100% the achievements, um, you have Dark Star, and if you want to kind of play normally, just fast, um, you have that option too, and it's really cool because you can also do by level. So if completing the whole game, um, fast, um, for me, it's intimidating <laughs> just a little bit, um, but I love to watch them. I um, love to watch Ruth specifically play, <laughs> um, oh, but cool. um, you can also just do levels. Um, don't be like me and, you know, not submit your times if you are looking to do so. Make sure you submit your times. As we go through, um, you can see the different items that are kept that we still have, which I love because as some of if you move, quite a bit or even every so often you realize there's some things that you keep they're still there um and you can see the change in the condition as we go on which i think is really cool and a really great detail of this game so this level is the level i was referring to earlier where so this is where it kind of ramps up in the dark star category just because i literally have to move all of this all of this has to be moved like it just you know he has a lot of stuff um and like all of it just has to like go somewhere because um including our stuff too though like we have a lot of stuff too um right. and i i like this level because this is kind of getting you an insight of like the game and what it's all about when you're definitely come here you um you know like when you're moving in with someone you can kind of feel that whole like you know, um, you just feel that like there's not room for you here and you get that idea like in this. Uh, it's just, it's amazing how it depicts the story so beautifully with just these items and just, you know, th this game is just so well done in that storytelling and I cannot express enough how much it's amazing to even like just the story unfolds in front of you and yeah it's like messy right now but um it, it's just so beautifully told agreed i definitely recommend taking the time and playing this game um it it is beautiful it won a lot of awards rightly so because it is great it's a great time and just yeah, initially I have to say that I started the game just because I was like, ooh, organization, fun, I'm into this. Uh, and then I was crying by the end. It was so beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I actually started playing the, the demo and I was like, you know, I don't I don't know, you know, whatever, I'll try the demo. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm I like really like this game. Like I started following them on Twitter and like got really excited Aww. about the release and then like started playing it when it first came out so um it's a great time he has so much stuff <laughs> yeah it's so much stuff it's like love... honestly oh go ahead no go ahead it, it's just uh so this level like i was mentioning earlier this is where the difficulty wraps up because it's just so much stuff and it, it, there's so many places to put it too come on but what's funny is, to me, I always put the underwear and the socks right here because it's the shortest distance. But it's just like, imagine like opening a person's closet with all the underwear and socks on the ground. I just <laughs> find it funny. I just giggle. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay, That'd so be funny. there. I kind of like, so with playing this game, you know, you would put your stuff in but just having to i just something about having to like doing the dark star of this level and having to move all their stuff <laughs> and put your stuff like unpack all of your stuff it's just like ugh, pain <laughs> yep and there's it like is... way more to unpack like we're moving oh, yeah. in with someone so we're yeah. like sharing a life with them and so it's just like you could tell we're starting to work we're starting to like um 
you know, you could see like the development of the characters, shoes, but you can also see like the person that they're with is a very like, you know, um, sophisticated, quote unquote, like they have like, you know, these like nice glassware, nice like all this kind of stuff around the house. I say quote unquote. I don't know if it's nice or not. It looks nice to me. Oh, definitely. But well, I think even the view from the bridge. So in the living room, when you like see the bridge and you're in a high rise, you know, you're seeing uh, the the bridge usually like so places with a view or near the water, they're usually more expensive. This like, you know, fancy square sink and the glass um, shower like that is usually more higher end finishes. No. Yeah, I definitely regret to say that I thought this guy was really cool when I saw his espresso machine. <laughs> um, my thoughts quickly changed, but I think that says a lot about me that the espresso machine made me go, yup, that's great. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that's so good. I mean, hey, it's important things, right? It's hangers are so... I'm making sure to do yeah. this now so that... We don't have any, uh, you know, hangers overpowering this run. And I want you to see the continuation of it. But these hangers are so awkward. The, the, like, the way that they fall, too, is just... Oh, that, no, that's an allowed space. There you go. That's not an allowed space. Okay. So um, I would say out of this whole entire room, though, the one that I think is the most fun to disorganize is this one. Um, because there's just so, like, many, like, little pieces of just information to like take out um i like to take things out first just because of the fact that like if you start putting things in front of the drawers you can't open the drawers and so it's not really time efficient <laughs> to do that kind of thing but um yeah so i definitely say that um i actually like his dishes the one thing i do like are yes. the dishes i love the I square them me too. Yes, and the color is cool. <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, like I was just kind of like, oh, okay, well, I'll give you that. <laughs> I will give you that. Um, but yeah, so it's just it's kind of neat to see like with the dark star category what it is that you have to like take it out and like on top of where you're trying to put it. I mean, yeah, it looks kind of like oh, okay, you could just put it on the ground and you could just go anywhere to the ground. True, but at the same time. There's only so much ground on top of the fact that you only have so much room to work with. Um, so it's it's True. like very interesting to find the, like once you run out of ground, where are you gonna put it? Because at some point the ground's not gonna be able to do it for you. So you kind of <laughs> have to have backup strats sometimes. Uh, I really like that though. There. It's like, they're like, you know what? It would have been easy for them to just allow everything to just be on the ground or, you know, have enough space for that. But they're like, nah. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna, you know, shake things up a bit. Yeah. Okay. So that is allowed. So I'm missing something. Ukulele, why? Okay. So there was a ukulele and then yoga mat. Okay. Yoga mat. I need to find a good place for you. Let's do this. See what I mean by... There you go. So that's what I mean by... It's funny how the game... Like, nice. there's certain areas that even that you think that are not supposed to be allowed, they're allowed. <laughs> You're just like, I don't know, game. Okay, now you get to see more of the game. We didn't have a... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The hangers didn't win. Best way to put <laughs> yeah. We love it. Yeah, that's true. Um... It's interesting that, uh, you know, some of the places where, you know, you may not put your yoga mat in your closet, but like, it was like, eh, actually that's an okay place. <laughs> Makes you think about people like unpack and put all their things places. Mm -hmm. I kind of like this case. Yeah, I oh. actually um, started one of the largest disagreements I have ever experienced in my life. Um, with my own community Ooh. when I was trying to explain how happy I was that you could put pajamas under your pillow in this game. <laughs> and the amount of people who shamed me 
like what? putting pajamas under my pillow. And I was like, okay, so this game teaches us that we're all very different people. Yes. But apparently pajamas under the pillow is what broke everybody. <laughs> oh. Out of everything else in this game, that That's is so really good. <laughs> so really we're kind funny. of back in the childhood home. Um, mm -hmm. What's important to notate with the childhood home is that um, it's a very, very important part of the character development, um, just simply because, um, you know, it's like, why did we move out? What, what went wrong kind of thing? Um, and so that's kind of like what's important to take away from this is that um, we're home again and we just want to figure out where it is that we do belong. Oh no, you're going to be allowed on the bed. I can't allow you on that. Uh, you have to be somewhere not near the bed. The one thing that always gets me is with these categories, um, it's not the stuff that's actually hanging. Like, that's actually easy to remember. But the things that, like, the game... So you'll see, like, a lot of red, as you saw earlier. Um, it's kind of funny because when you're looking in the mist of red, you're trying to find the one thing <laughs> that is not... Like, the game allowed it to be okay right there. Oh. Whoopsies, I need to open this door. Um, but yeah, so it's funny though, because like sometimes it's really hard to see what is allowed. So it's really good to get to know the zones and like where everything is allowed to be located. That's disorganized and it's okay to be disor disorganized about. Um, so that's what's interesting with this one. And then in this one, um, actually Sprinkle, if you want to talk about the fun fact here about the childhood home, while I yeah. look for the allowed item. Oh, yeah. Um, we're talking about the fact that, like, you know, we get to see a different space within in the home. Before, we only saw this room um, with the bunk bed. Um, but now we get to see the, the bathroom and just a little bit more. And, you know, this game is really a cool peek into someone's life and, um, you know, how they live. You know, sometimes you may have, like, friends or whatever, you know. May not necessarily go into their bedrooms necessarily, but this is like a cool peek inside of like this person's things, their hobbies, their interests. Um, it's just kind of their journey, which again, beautiful story, 10 out of 10. Like, um, can't recommend this game enough. It's on Switch, like, it's on so many different platforms. Um, it's a great game. And then here we moved out. So, we are um, out again, which is cool. <laughs> it's good, and we have all of our stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make sure with this bags. room. Yeah, I like the bee okay, bags. Yeah, <laughs> bee bags are awesome. Okay, so I have to be careful with these stuff animals because there's actually a, like a good amount of room in here that. Uh, you'll be surprised about where the stuffed animals can go, and they're okay to be there. Uh -huh. Alright, got the books. Because, okay, so a, another important thing to notate with this level. So this level uh, is an important setup level. So for this one, where we unpack is super important because what will happen is, if it's not set up in the right place, that's bad. And it makes it really hard for you to kind of like find that one item that gets allowed because in the next level things will move around. Yeah, they're trying to. This is kind of like a prerequisite, so to speak, for the next one. Yeah, and I think it's really cool how they do that. Yeah, they and this room. Soon. Yes, this well, room is like <laughs> super important too because the way you unpack this room is like. It gets harder if you don't unpack it right, is the best way to put that. Oh, the hangers. I don't know if we've mentioned yet, but um, all these boxes, the same items come out the same way, same order. So um, it's really good for um, learning the runs of this game. So you can see like, okay, there's going to be a shirt next. So either... I'm doing it regularly, so I have to hang it, or I'm going to fold it and put it on the bed, or I'm going to fold it in the closet, or whatever the case may be. Um, 
because the number of clicks, the distance of how far you're going from the, the uh, taking something out of the box to where it's going to be is really important for your time and um, just your movability. These things are so hey, cute. Yours. Yeah. I also have a purple yoga mat, actually. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. Aww. I think I have a teal one. I love that. Um, so it's like um, purple and blue. So it's like purple on one side and blue on the other. It's like reversible, I guess. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's yeah. really cool. It has like the, yeah, when you turn it over, you can see like a different color. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, I got some big bulky items here. The books are not so bad, but it's these big yeah. bulky items that are like taking up a lot of the room. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one thing I like um, that like, you can stack like clothes and like hold them and stack them with each other and the towels and books and games and things. And I think that's really cool. You can move them as a stack, which is great as a player regardless of how you play the game, um, whether you're speed running it or not, I think it's just... Thank, thank, thank the devs for <laughs> uh, putting that in there because, you know, um, I love those like quality of life things. They didn't have to do that, you know, but they did and it's great. <laughs> so out of everything that I'm unpacking, what have been the continuing items that you've noticed that the character has been bringing on their journey while they are, um, you know, transforming in their, like, going through their different stages of life? I'm always curious to see what the answers are in chat when I run this game because I think it's so cute to see what, like, you know, you notice, like, they're, they're um, stuffed animals and things like that. But then there's other answers where I'm like, oh, that's a good answer. That's a good point. I'm just basic and I really like the pig stuffies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every time I see the pigs, I get excited. Aww. Pig is very good. Very cute, very cute. I think there are so many things. Um, I really like the pig because um, as you can see throughout the years, there's some wear and tear on the pig. Mm -hmm. And I just love that. It's like, you know, your childhood stuffed animal. Like I have a Cabbage Patch doll that I had forever that I gave my sister and my nephew's playing with it. But I can see like how it's been marked up and like, you know, so that's like something that I'll eventually take from them. But you know, like as you go through the years, it's like something you can see the wear and tear and just the love and everything for it. I just, I just love it. Um, I love that. Definitely. Come on. There you go. There you go. All right. Where is the loud item? I love it when I have that. Ah, you stuffed animal. Okay. There's a stuffed animal. Ukulele is <laughs> usually the culprit. Yes. All right. Those are good. That is good. Okay. What's allowed? That shouldn't be allowed. There's no hangers in the closet. <laughs> Trying to look. Something's being <laughs> sneaky. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I see it. I see it. I know what it is. There's that one. What else is there? Oh, nice. Um, where are you? You snuck by me. I've been trying. I've been so during practice. I've been making sure, like, to keep note of the items that give me a a hard time, basically. Where it's like, That's oh, good. you. Oh, is it the paint? The easel? I think that the easel, the wood easel, it is flickering. You got it. Oh, nice. oh, it it's like playing nice. Where's Waldo yeah. in a weird way. It's so much fun. Hey. It is. <laughs> so much fun. Nice. Heck yeah. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> I love this game. All right. So um, this is a very important level. Um, I'm going to let you take over, Sprinkle, while I figure out the best place to put the things and stuff. Yeah. Um, I think this level is really cool because um, for the most part, a lot of the places that you put things... Um, will be there or are around there um but as you can see the story these are different boxes like um these boxes are the brown ones these have white and red 
uh, white boxes red work writing um, and this is different stuff <laughs> um, you can see the personality of someone coming out more flowers um, a lot of colors some different stuff animals a different laptop uh, you can definitely see that someone is moving in with us um, still the same apartment we now have a couch <laughs> like we're, we're out here with a couch and no beanbag chairs um, and it's exciting it's really exciting it's definitely um, a great uh, development within the story so you know clearly um, in a relationship as we see and we move on um, as we unpack some of the boxes I think it's really cool just like how you had the stuff that like the bathroom is a great place to see how stuff is left kind of where you had it um bedroom too but definitely the bathroom um and then as we unpack these boxes we'll start to see some clothing they're moving into our bedroom so uh obviously some type of relationship um they have a tiger stuffed animal so watching that but it's really um <laughs> it's really cool and beautiful to see <laughs> I had to do that. Uh, that so I love that stuffed animal. Yeah, <laughs> it's such a good one. That one gives you such a hard time in this room. There's oh, a very, man. very like niche, like not niche, but like a very, very mm, hard spot. Um, if you put it anywhere near the bed, it's allowed. Um, so like you have to put it like in a very, very specific spot. But I've been having trouble in practice, so I've been making sure to just like put it in the bathroom, so I'm not <laughs> having to worry about it because. It's been giving me trouble. So lately, like the answer to a lot of my issues will be if I can't find a spot right away, it goes in the bathroom because at least it's safe in there to <laughs> trust that it's going to be not working for it. The so, bathroom uh, is a safe spot. I yeah, bathroom is a safe spot, basically. Uh, but uh, like, like right now, I'm having issues with these these uh, hangers. They, hangers? <laughs> So Fingers awkward. Everywhere. Yeah. yeah and, it, and they only like, there's only more to come. Oh yeah, this is awkward. I might have to start putting some hangers in the bathroom. Hopefully we get no more. Right now it's I can't memorize spot. where the um, hangers are at. I forgot like which um, the thing Yeah, no, on. that's fair. That's a, it's a lot to remember. There's throughout the game like a billion boxes. No, just kidding. But there's a lot of boxes and a lot of like moving around of things so that's totally understandable yeah so it's funny that that was on the ground because there's no thing on there was like no room for it on the um what do you call it there's the no desk. room for it yeah oh i know what one area if this like does the thing i know where to go all right um let me see so we I need love the kitchen that the pictures I don't know. I, I say we have to be a little bit real here, though, and I want to ask chat, too. So, like, when you're moving in somewhere and you're unpacking, don't tell me that you don't dump all your stuff on the bed. 100%. <laughs> and then reorganize it later. So I do see myself a little bit. Um, I mean, maybe you put things away immediately. Then props to you. You're amazing. Right. Um, Come unpack but, me. But, you know, it's okay. I do see my chaotic self a little bit in this, too. <laughs> yeah. No, if you've ever seen the home edit on netflix like that's literally what they do you want them to come redo your pantry they take everything out of the pantry and then they like decide where things should go how things should go it's hey the professionals do it so i think that is it's a thing <laughs> justification uh, you know it's they so are the cool, though. they are the I literal love loves of my life <laughs> I, I mean i love my husband but uh <laughs> yeah they are literally the loves of my life okay so where is the allowed mm, we're good here everything's red so where did i miss it i got everything in there it's like playing where's waldo i swear this is the best part yeah. we need the eagle eyes out yeah I made sure to, um, hmm. I took everything out of there. There's nothing in the other ones. That is all good. So where, ah, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Come on, you little hidden thing. Where are you? 
Uh, I swear, sometimes my eyes are like, finds it right away. Yeah. But I keep my... It's hard to see, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. really hard to see. Because it's just like... But during practice, I've been making sure that... Oh, it was a bath mat. Come here. You know what? Let's put the bath mat there. <laughs> put the bath mat in the living room. It's fine. <laughs> <The bath laughs> there it is. How oh, dare you, bath mat. <laughs> bath mat on the table. Fine. Love it. Okay, so this is the last level. It is a long level, so... But it is yes. a last level. Just a heads up. Um, this one is a lot more trickier and I will warn you when I have to let you know when to look away because there will be a point in time where I will work on one closet and in that closet I have to go between the screens a lot because just the hangers are just so awkward another awkward spot is this bathroom um so a lot of these items are actually allowed like in a lot of this bathroom space so you have to be very particular about what items can go next to this uh, table right here because um, otherwise it will count even though it's like far away or whatever it, it, it just counts so it's pretty interesting um, to see but um, oh you give me trouble so I'm putting it there um, but yeah so there's like particular items that you're just kind of like okay you definitely give me a hard time I need to make sure to keep a note of you. Um, so it's kind of interesting to just kind of like make sure that you have room in this tiny area where the boxes are taking a lot of the space. Uh, yeah. So once you have that one down, it becomes a lot easier. Oh, and this toilet paper, it's really interesting where you could put the toilet paper. Um, here, I'm just gonna put you over here just to be safe. I don't really want to take a chance. Um, this might actually be a problem. <laughs> um, okay, and then this, if you put it in front of the door, it's fine. <laughs> so you're fine there. Um, I find it funny because, like, right next to it is the allowed spot. Like, literally right next to it. It's super funny. Um, and then the laundry area, like, most of the laundry items next to it um, will... So this room is going to be the room where I'm going to be going through and making sure um, I will let you know about the warning of just like, I'm going to be shifting a lot, but oh no, you're allowed on the bed. Um, so you can go over there. You have a specific spot. Um, so yeah, sorry. I'm kind of going like in a random, but um, yeah. So it's interesting because uh, this is specific. This needs to go on the bed. Um, so basically, the next part, I'm trying my best to make sure I can set this room up to have a lot of hangers come in here because the other room, it's just such an awkward room. Like, you'll see when I'm doing it, um, it will be the last room I do just because it's the hardest one. Um, but it's super, super awkward when um, this needs to go on the bed. Um, to make room for the um, the hanger. And then we have a baby. Yay, we have a baby. Um, yes. So fun fact about the baby's room. A lot of these items are actually accepted in the room. So you have to come to the bathroom to like... Oh, that's an allowed spot. Um, you have to go to the bathroom. Let's make sure you're not going to be allowed anywhere. Um, a lot of the items in the baby room are very difficult. They have like these very specific spots because a lot of them are actually allowed in there. So that room is actually pretty like, it's just good to learn about what, you know, you can put in there in, in that room. But a lot of times I just use the bathroom just because it's like right next to it and it's just easy and you just go back and forth and it's not, you know, it's not as bad. Okay. All right, so... I mean, it makes sense about the baby's room, too, because there's a lot of toys in there, and baby's toys can be on the floor. <laughs> yep. What's funny that you... So I'll, I'll show you what can or cannot be on the floor that I find super interesting. Um, there's, like... Uh, how do I put it? The babies. There's a lot of the babies. Like, the pacifiers can be on the floor, but not the um, TV, which I thought was interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, a lot of times, 
Pacifiers are always on the floor. Um, that's an allowed spot, but I have to move it. Okay, so here you go. The problem with this room is that there's so many like big, heavy, bulky items, but once you're able to kind of get a groove going, you're able to just like put it there and it'll be fine. I hope everyone's enjoying the run. This is a fun run to do. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Um, I love just the, the switch around it does because people see unpacking and they go, oh my gosh, I love this game. It's so peaceful. And then you just start whipping everything out of boxes and throwing it on the ground. <laughs> yes. um, so I just really love the quick turnaround. Yes. <laughs> you didn't know what you were getting yourself into with the Dark Star. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think it's cool that the developers did give like a Dark Star option. And the way they did it too was just such a clever way. Um, I have to give kudos on that because it's just so well done. You're just like, all right, I'm definitely going to put a toaster in the chair. Why not? It's not Why allowed not? there, so I'm going to do it. Right. Why not? Why not? What's safe to say, though, is I try to not put anything on the table because the table is, like, actually pretty, like, forgiving about, like, what can go on it. So putting nothing on it is just better and safer. Sometimes putting things on the chair is the best strat. Okay, this could go up here. <laughs> That's fine. The one other good thing about this category that I am going to mention too is um, the other categories, you kind of have to think about what's coming out of the box and where to put it. So this globe would have to go into the other room. But because this is Dark Star, I don't have to really worry about that too much. All I just have to worry about is making sure that, you know, I have enough room to be putting the, the things and the stuff in the wrong place. Um, so that's kind of neat. So like in the other category, you're going to see, um, you know, you're going to see me like concentrate a little bit more about where things are going because, um, you know, I have to put it in the allowed spot. I like to say loud spots. I'm saying that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, that's right. Um, there are spots where the game says yes and the game says mm, no, eh, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. One thing, though, I do love about this game um, is one of the accessibility features where uh, you can, uh, there's a setting where you can put things anywhere. So, um, as you go through and play it casually or anything like that, uh, and you want to have um, all the red items in an area, maybe um, like you want that whisk um, on the stove, or in the case may be, the game will um, and can allow that um, as you're moving forward. So you don't have to be as stringent um, in a normal playthrough as you normally would. So you have that option, which I think is pretty cool. So many like, places. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's, yeah, I agree, Sprinkle. It's kind of a nice one because I definitely remember on my first playthrough, you have moments where you put things in places that seem logical. Yeah. And the game is like, mm, no, don't love it. <laughs> uh, so there's definitely that, <laughs> that small aspect of, hey, let me put my stuff where I want. Yeah. Um, so that, that, could, that could be fun, yeah. Definitely. Also, I love this place that they have together. I just think it's so beautiful <laughs> that they've come together. They met each other. You know, this game is just so great. And you're potentially not in a great situation with the guy's place. Move back home to kind of restart, refresh, re kind of get yourself going. Move out on your own. And you meet someone, they move in with you. And then you get this place and you have a kid. and. It's so exciting. I love it so much. It's such a great game. <laughs> it is. It is so wonderful. We're going to be saying oh. that for the rest of the stream. It's just like, it's such a great game. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great game. I agree. <laughs> Hardcore. No, it's, it's funny too, because now I'm packing selling merch. And if you go yes. to the merch, uh, they have, okay, so they have their crochet version of the coasters that you see here. 
I am waiting for the pillows in the blanket. I am, oh, the pillows in that blanket are so cute. Mm. Oh, um, yes. And then they have like, uh, now they have like a storage bin. I, I bought it. I'm sorry. It was just so <laughs> cute. I'm just I've been like, thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is a part where if you don't like a lot of the scene transitions, look away because this is going to be a lot. It's just there's a lot of hangers until I get this one box down. I just have to like scene transition a lot until then because it's just it's it's just like I have to do it. There's no there's not much room and these hangers are just so awkward. Like I could put these ones down here, but after a while it gets just super, super awkward. Um, but once I have more room to cover, I'm very happy to like, you know, stop transitioning as much because I know it could like bug the eyes a little bit because it bugs my eyes. I mean, if it bugs my eyes and I'm running it, that, that's, a, that's a good <laughs> indicator that, you know, um, that it's really fast. So if anyone has to look away, totally understandable. Um, I'll do my best to not do the transitions too much. Um, but yeah, so I definitely would say that uh, I love the development of the story. I hope everyone does get the development of the story because um, I know that this like main aesthetic to the game is the story development and building upon that and um, you know, and everything like that. Um, by the way, how, how many hangers I do? Because this is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot. Um, oh my gosh, so many. <laughs> I've already lost count. I've already, I like, have already lost count. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, I, I one think. job, maybe two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry. I've, I'm like, I don't know. There's, there's another hanger. Oh huh? no, there's yeah, another so hanger. Hangers. That's pretty much kind of the way I count it now. Mm -hmm. could go right there and then that can go right there but this room is just like this closet yeah <laughs> this closet's really nice it's just really tight until you get the um the room on the fl floor so now that i have room i can start putting things on the floor but it's just yeah. until then though i have to kind of do that because unfortunately these hangers are just so like like they're just they're they're the op they're the stars of this like speed run <laughs> They're the ones that are like, are. I'm here to like wreck your day, mwah ha ha. And you're like, okay, <laughs> cool, I'll take it. Cause it's just like, you're you're like, yeah. But now that I'm starting to get more room, I'm gonna start like, just trying my best to not, um, come on. I know you wanna, okay. Underwear and bras don't wanna go. I think they no, wanna stay in the box, is. apparently. Um, <laughs> What, what are you doing, game? Oh, okay, this is well. I picked up a hanger, so now I have to. Um, but yeah, so basically, it's just um, hanger, hanger, please, hanger, no, hanger. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, at this point in time, that's in a loud spot, but for right now, that's fine. You know what? I'm just gonna start putting bras here, too. Why not? Because this room is full of love and space there it is oh <laughs> breathe love and space <laughs> i love the i love the space um we do have one more room after this but i don't know if i should say time and if the time is not done right away totally understandable because uh the one thing about this game is that time can um that's an allowed spot that's not a loud spot um it can can be stopped but if it's not stopped right away it's totally fine because it's kind of hard to say um this is allowed no this is allowed on the ground that's right okay um you can have the pacifier on the ground you can need this right there this has to go right here sorry i'm thinking um no you're fine because right before i was doing you? this i was making it look pretty <laughs> <laughs> I was making things look pretty, so I'm like, allowed, not allowed, allowed, not allowed. Okay. <laughs> kind of fun saying it like that. Um, okay, you're good. You're safe. And then, um, if I recall correctly, I need to do this. Okay, same thing again here. It's going to kind of do the, 
back and forth because I have to put these in a specific spot. And then this is good to go. That one little ball can cause a lot of fun. All right, so I need to see, there you go. And then we need to move you so that we can put you there. Imagine sitting there <laughs> with the, Ouch. you know, the babies. Uh, uh, do, do you, yeah, yeah, it looks really comfy. And then that looks even more comfy. Trust me, very, very, this is fine. Everything's fine. Um, oh, this isn't allowed. <laughs> oh, the baby's going to be sleeping very bunny. well. Yes. Yeah, the bunny is so cute. I love that, like, <laughs> the baby gets their own, like, you know, bunny. And, like, they still have the tiger. They still have, um, what do you call it? Yes. And, uh, okay. So, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Your books are the problem. Let's go. All right, so let's see what's the other problem. It's usually the baby room, the bathroom, and the closet, and the bedroom. The kitchen's uh, pretty good. This room looks good. good. This looks good. This looks gorgeous, all that red. Wait. <laughs> all that red's great. Okay. Red here. This usually is not the problem room. This, however, can be the problem room if I didn't do it right, but I look like I did a good job there. All right, where is it? Uh, we're good in here. So it's probably the bathroom or the bedroom. Okay, where is it? Hmm. Yep. There's those two. There's oh, you. The, the first aid. Mm -hmm. The first aid? Oh, the first aid's, the first aid's okay. Uh, let's see, anything else? No, we're good here. So it's probably here. Uh, yep, it's this thing. Come here. Where can I fit you? There's that. All right, anything else that's allowed? This is that one level where it's like really hard. Rooms. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it's back in here. Let me see. You're in the loud spot. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Everything's red over here. Red over here. Hmm. Where is oh, it? There's a hanger that is by a black bra in the closet. Oh, look at your eyes. I that was good. Sorry. <laughs> no, that was good. That was a good one. Okay. Because sometimes then, it's. Yeah, sometimes. it's just like. Yeah, with the hanger that was close to it, it was fine, right? So it's just always something. Yeah, it's, right. it's a little funky with like the. That's what I mean by it. it's such a weird, like, what allows that space to be in. This one's fine. So, ukulele can be a trouble. Um, I think we're good. Uh, once we find it, that's when we have to call time, though. So, just a heads up on that. <laughs> uh, really? Ray had mentioned a potential pot. Oh, yeah, the pot's on the top right. This one? Kitchen. Are those Top pots? Right. Or no? No, that's a vent. Oh, okay. Pop, 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 pop. Because in this level, we don't have anything that we move. So all of this is red. Ooh, we've got something sneaky somewhere. Where is it? Oh, this is, uh, this is the one bait <laughs> of my... It's your good eyes out, chat. Uh, Come on. <laughs> Why? This is you the one level this. I've been practicing too, because I'm like, I know this level gets to me. It's always <laughs> something either in the bathroom or the baby's room because of weird lines. I'm just moving things around just to be safe. Okay. Yeah. Um, Where are you? This is kind of fun, though. The, it brings the game yeah, to the a new toilet, level. The toilet paper rack, I believe, is static as well, yeah? Yep. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, come on. This is killing my time. <laughs> <laughs> you got this, Rue. Yeah. You got this. Where is it? These small little things. Usually, this is a culprit, but this is actually good. Mm, this is good. That is good. That is good. Oh, come on, game. Oh my goodness. Where are you? 
It's gonna be the smallest little. I know. Ah. Uh, oh, is it the? Too. Is it the tea lamp inside of the? Um, no. No. Warmer. Okay. I was usually be like that's the right spot. So then you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like well, a meta it, thing. Yeah, and it is the smallest thing too. But the yeah. hat's okay. This is okay. And then it's a baby's room, I think. Where? Why? You're killing my time. I was doing so well. <laughs> why? Uh. So that's allowed. That's not allowed. Game, I disagree with you. I disagree with you right now. I did a great job on packing. <laughs> um. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually stumped. This is actually stumping me right now. Because in practice, I make sure to do certain things for a certain reason kind of thing. Yeah. But fair. now I'm kind of like... And there's nothing in the cabinet. Yeah, anything it missed doesn't say in, any, like, Yeah, cabinet's empty. Cabinets. Uh, so when you're in this level, you have nothing to move. Um, because you're just, like, unpacking with your spouse for the Man. first time. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? It's hidden. It is. Usually it's a ukulele that gives you trouble, but I have everything in the right spot. This is actually like, this is a new one. And the moment that I find it, I'm going to be like, really game? Hey. <laughs> really? <laughs> <sighs> okay. That is definitely in the wrong spot. Hmm. Mm. All right, it's time to move everything around. Because that is what you have to do. I love chat saying, time to pack it all up again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, this Love is like killing my time, though. Okay. Um, I think I was doing pretty well on time, too. Let's see. Okay. I'm literally just going to put everything on the ground now. I'm trying to think of what could be in the boxes that's on the ground that maybe it does not like that. Uh, watch, it's like a hanger. If a hanger wins, I'm going to laugh my butt off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Revenge of the hangers. Oh Basically. <laughs> hangers. It's nothing in this room. So where is it then? Because yeah. this room's pretty solid. Like, this is a pretty easy room to unpack, in my opinion. Like, these pillows are in the right spot. That's in the right yeah. spot. Hmm. Where are you? Interesting. I really don't know what it is. Oh, I don't really want to like kill the run because of this. That would suck. Um, <laughs> it's okay. We have time to look for a bit. Okay. Oh, cool. I did a great job. But now, <laughs> no, my time. I could have got a PB. Oh, well, I'll do it again after this. All right. We're just moving everything. That is the best strat you could do when you cannot find it, apparently. Where is it? See, this is really good. I really like this because it gives people some insight into like, hey, if you want to pick up this run, yeah. here's what you do if you get stuck. Yes. So we're giving the full picture. True. Yes. Very true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's still, that's good. Oh, come on. Done. Uh. Time. It was hit. Uh. <laughs> that was, a, oh, come on. That's just uh. like a, that's, uh. Tampons like being right there is allowed. Really, game? Really? <laughs> oh, I would have gotten nice. a PB. Oh, you got it. darn. Well, duly noted for next practice. That's another yeah, one to look great. out for. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, so just to show it's Dark Star, by the way, we do have to verify the Dark Star. Um, we, uh, so the book is gonna be here we'll skip this and then we're gonna go back and then we'll show the dark star for the book just because that's just how you do it and then yata and you're like happy 
Um, I know we will be taking a break, but come on. Sorry, I just have to say that's just super unfair. <laughs> there it is. There's my dog star. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Well, we do have some more unpacking to do. <laughs> um, but I will. Uh, I'll have Lan- uh, Lana take over. <laughs> totally. So there you go, everyone. That was our dark star run. So deepest apologies to all of our lovely organizers in chat today. Um, I know that this probably broke your heart a little bit, but don't worry because if you stick around, we can give you a bit of a redemption arc and you can see things organized a little nicer than you might have enjoyed in this category here. So Dark Star involved putting everything in the wrong spot. The next run that we have coming up after our break will be a 100% achievements run also with Rue. Uh, We're sticking around all night to unpack everything. Um, So don't worry, we will get the redemption arc. (laughs) I got you. A couple quick announcements before we go on our break. Uh, Just a reminder that your subs, Prime Gaming subs, Gift subs, and Bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick, both with Hotfix and with AGDQ 2023 costs. So please consider subscribing if you enjoy our daily GDQ content. Also, speaking about AGDQ 2023, earlier I had mentioned that it does run from January 8th to 15th, and if you want something fun to do during the break, you just gotta you just gotta promise me that you'll come back to watch the rest of Unpacking, okay? Here's something fun you can do. If you go to gamesdonequick.com slash schedule, you might see a little special something has been released. So go check it out, and we'll catch you back here right after the break for more Unpacking. See you soon! Hey, hello, everybody. I hope that you have been having a phenomenal evening here with us on She Is Speed. We have been having a super cozy evening, uh, making sure that we unpack all of our things in slightly chaotic ways at first. Uh, If you were here before the break, we just finished a dark star run from Rue where every single thing that we unpack goes in the wrong spot. Um, So if you were one of the many chat members that was deeply disturbed by that, uh, we're glad you're still here (laughs) because we're going to make it all right for you and it's going to be much, much cozier. So uh, if you're tuning in on YouTube, watching at a later date, make sure to press the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. Also go to twitch.tv slash games done quick if you're interested in watching our live content, which starts weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. We have lots of amazing shows. Um, She is Speed is one that takes place every second Monday along with Bargain Bin, and there's tons more that come tomorrow. Um, So I'll tell you more about those later. But uh, for now, we will be going back to unpacking. Like I had said, we did Dark Star earlier. And now Rue will be showing off a 100% achievements category. So you might like this one a little bit better. We'll see. I'll let Rue explain it. Take it away. Awesome. Uh, Before we go into the category, I really, really want to show the ideal world of Rue. So with unpacking, (laughs) this is the Rue 100%, just super quick. (laughs) This is going to just, you know, it's just going to be really, really quick. So this is how I would envision the child's bedroom that the game allows me in. Look how pretty it is. Super beautiful. Then we have, oh, well, apparently I have to click on the star each time. So I forgot about that. But hey, it's finally my (laughs) own room. And then, oh, okay. The game is like cool. Okay, let's do that. So we're going to go into this beautiful apartment of ours. See, look how beautiful this is. This is so beautiful. The root percent, 100% is a valley category, I think. I think I, I definitely am like, you know, doing well in this category. Look at everything. It's so tidy, so clean. The deodorant is on top of the toilet. It makes sense. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> This is where we like, find out a lot of stuff about you, Ruth. Right? So. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wait. <laughs> I'm just letting you know that, that that's no it's judgment. Just great. No judgment here. Yeah. For all friends. No judgment. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> and then we have the one. This is this is beautiful too. So in this one, even though you know you don't move too much, there was actually it was actually quite hard to uh, unpack this room. 
because, you know, look how beautiful that is. Even look at the underwear drawers. I took a lot of time, and this one I didn't even fill up because I put everything in one, but it was so beautiful. But if you look, I did a great job color sorting, and then, you know, you can see the all the, uh, you know, outdoor equipment is on the bottom, and then we have, like, our beautiful stuff, and apparently it's 12 a.m., just letting you know. This is the ideal world of 100% Rue 100%. So even though this one I didn't have much room to move around in, I made it work. It was great. This is all like, you know, a test to me. This is beautiful. Um, I can't move these things, by the way. If I could, I would. Um, oh, wait. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so this is the Rue just enjoying how to organize your chores and how things should properly be. I could probably put something right there. Here, let's put something in there. There you go. And then, <laughs> this, is, this is ideal, right? So this is the best way to showcase the Rue 100%. <laughs> um, I would Thank have to you. say that I took a lot of time. I actually took more time doing this than I did in my actual speed runs, just to let you know. It took me hours. I believe I it. So, <laughs> so I this believe is it. the idea of bathroom. I moved all his stuff. And I made room for my stuff. It was great. So I loved it. Um, everything that you see, this is all well thought out and organized. You, the spices are above the kitchen, so you could reach over and get it. The, the whole, like, you know, dishes being right next to each other. The beautiful coffee. The beautiful... It's just, it's so beautiful. I think I give myself a good gold star. Just saying. I did a great job. Um, <laughs> I'm just having so much fun being... Uh, a, a, you know, me. Um, but yeah, so if I were to live in unpacking and this is how I would see unpacking, I would unpack like this. The only thing that I disagree about with this one is the diploma being underneath the bed. But look at that closet. Look how beautiful and organized my drawers are. It's so beautiful. You get to see all of his stuff in one drawer, my bras. Oh, wait, there you go. <laughs> Apparently, I forgot about that one. Um, yeah, so this is... Continuing the Rue 100%. I'm just saying, I did a great job. Um, I think the world record right now is uh, six hours, but I definitely... <laughs> <laughs> oh For Rue 100%? <laughs> the Rue 100% is six hours. So I love I'm it. just letting you know, if you want to beat that category, it's, it's totally <laughs> realistic and you're able to do so. But in the meantime, I did my best with this room. I made sure the stuffed animals were able to talk to the dinosaur. The dinosaur felt left out. Also, if you could see the bit. chickens in the cabinet, <laughs> you could see that they're all <laughs> cooking around and they're all having so much fun with each other. So that here is a beautiful, but the bathroom, I made sure the color coordinate the towels. The only one I disagree on is this green towel right here, but I don't know where to put it. So maybe if we find a room in here, hold on. I actually did a good job on this one, so I don't know where to put it. Um, it's fine. It's okay. But this this is definitely a category we're trying. <laughs> um, I think this category would be great as an overnight category. You know, some like comfy, cozy unpacking with yes. Rue. I love it. 100%. I agree. Um, I made sure to... <laughs> me too. I'm going to switch things around here just to show that it is super easy to get into this category. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be open. I was supposed to surprise you. So if you look into this category, you can see how it's so nice and tidy and everything is just in the right spot. We have the baking with the baking. And the other thing to note as well is that I have a ton of room. There's a ton of room here. And honestly, I'm super, super proud of the Rue 80%, the 100% category, not any percent. Um, but yes, if you are interested in learning this category, just reach out to me. I'll teach you where to put everything, especially when you put deodorant on toilet. It's okay. It's totally normal. Um, so this is when we get moved in. Look at that. Look at the colors. We have a purple one. This one purple one I might disagree on, but hey, I put the makeup bag to match with it to accessorize. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's just kind of fun to just have fun with this category. Look at all the beautiful colors and all the happy friends. And it's just, it's so gorgeous. I really, really, I actually want to call this the Rue Design Percent Any Category. Oh, wait, there you go. And so anywho, I hope we're enjoying this. I had a lot of fun putting this together. Um, it's definitely like 
a game that's near and dear to my heart. And, um, you know, whatever I'm moving around, just ignore that because that's just me pretending that I finished this <laughs> in six hours when it's actually longer than that. Apparently, I'm still making the adjustments on the stream. So maybe the category is a lot longer than expected at the moment. But hey, uh, it's definitely just like, you know, it's a ton of fun to actually play this game and show like what you can or cannot do. Um, so last but not least, my favorite one is our house. The house is so tidy. Look at that. Look at that. It's just so beautiful. You have everything in the right spot. Everything is just so clean and tidy. And it makes sense to me. After, especially Dark Star, where everything is chaotic and you put it everywhere, it just bothers me the whole entire time. I sit there and I'm like, I'm speed running this and it bothers me. But for anyone that has gotten disturbed by how disorganized i'm hoping this category <laughs> brings that back for you because honestly it was a joy to put this together and look at this it's so beautiful everywhere everywhere you look i spent so much time i did i actually spent a lot of time on this um i made sure like everything was in its spot the only thing i could probably request oh it even made sure the chickens made sense the cool one is in the front then we have the baby a coming and we have the whole entire thing here and then we have that and then like you know this room looks pretty cool um yeah so i'm hoping everyone enjoyed the rue design any percent or 100 percent category because i actually do have all the stickers in this level and that is what we're gonna get ready for so to explain the next game the next category there's these stickers right here and if you see all these stickers be met that is what is 100% achievement. Um, interesting category name. But let me just get rid of the fun thing to notice with this one is that you have to clear all the data because that's how you have to get all the stickers. If you have all the stickers already, then you're not able to do it. So you do have to clear the data. And then just super quick, we're just going to make sure to rebind the keys that I'm comfy with. And then um, we're going to be starting to play. And what's great about showing off like this game and everything like that, it's super cool to see like the difference in these categories because in my opinion, it's a lot of fun to just showcase, you know, anything that this game brings. Um, it's just super beautiful, but we are gonna start with the 100% skill, well, not skills, achievements, I'm just gonna say that. And then as soon as I open the next box, that is when the timer will start. So on the count of three, two, one, go. Oh, wait, this is not Dark Star. I got to remember that. <laughs> yes. I got to remember that. Uh, also, shout out to Rue for doing two completely different runs in this game. Different mindsets. Like, <laughs> you're awesome. <laughs> I don't know how you can like flip the switch like that. That's so tough. It's oh. it's interesting to do this one because oh now we have this cut this one so this is a um, a sticker you have to play this let's let's listen to it let's jam while I unpack and now we're seeing where. The game wants us to put things. <laughs> or allows them. Nice. I definitely attempted to uh It's 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 get quite a song at this level. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm making sure certain things get done. They have to be done in a specific way to get all the, um, the skills. Um, so there's my gold star. And I got three stickers out of that. Well, four now. But So that's the category. It's a lot of fun. Um, you do have to do the Rubik's Cube to get a sticker. You do have to turn on music to get the sticker. And then the camera kind of already comes, but the camera is another one. Um, I kind of want to play Dark Star, so if I pretend doing Dark Star things, just ignore it. Um, so that's the best way to put that one. Um, 
because I'm, I'm used to Dark Star at the moment. Um, so I would have to say that it is an interesting mindset to show off both of the games because you're so used to doing things like, oh, and I have to do this one. Let's do the dab. Um, that's another sticker. And then we're going to put all this stuff. But uh, essentially, this is kind of the game. This is how uh, like it should be intended to play for the category. Um, I would be going faster, but for some reason, I just want to put things on the floor. Uh, it's, I just literally just want to be like, okay, go to the floor. Um, I mean... But, <laughs> But basically with this you. category, it's kind of like, it's the same idea as the last one where you're just kind of putting things in the right spot. But this time you're actually like putting things away and you're just kind of like, oh, okay, cool. Um, it's definitely easier to put things on the floor and just kind of be like, okay. But what's cool about this version, and I'm going to do this each time because it's just cool to do that since I did do it. Um, but... Once you do, that's the other thing to notate too. Once you do do the, um, like these uh, cute little stickers that you do, you can like, you're done for the rest of the like time being. Cause you have multiple chances to do them. And um, the game will be like, okay, you're good after that. Um, but yeah, so definitely a different change of a game that you're seeing right now. Um, it's just, you know, you're kind of putting things in the right spot. You're just kind of like, okay, cool. Um, so these are all like the right spots to put these items. Um, yeah, we could, we could put that under there. That's fine. Um, here you go. And then, come on. Um, but it's just so interesting to see both of them being like shown here because they are different categories and they're played so completely differently. Um, especially like, you know, I'm just trying to kind of remember where the right spots are for this one. But, um, essentially... It's nice to kind of show off like, oh, hey, there's different ways to play this game and you can speed run it and it's completely different because of the fact that, you know, it's just the way that the game works as well as the speed run. Um, the 100 categories, uh, the 100 achievements, it's, it's an interesting way. I kind of just want to say all achievements. Um, it's just a neat way to kind of showcase like what the game can or cannot do. Um, but... What's great about this category... Uh-oh. My keybinds didn't work. That's fine. I'm going to be a little bit slower because of that, but that's fine. I'll figure it out. Um, so we'll just put that there, and then we'll go like that. But yes, if there's anything you want to say, Sprinkle, while I focus on packing and do this the right way... Yeah, you're fine. Um, so one thing that, um, as we see back into this place, is that the book that you choose... Um, the photo album is a photo album that appears in your home you unpack it <laughs> so uh, I think that's a really cool kind of like I don't know is that the fourth wall maybe it's not the fourth wall but it's just cool that you know you chose that and you know um, whether it's, it says rue 100% or 100% achievement or whatever you name it um, that that is the photo album that you get um, another thing that I enjoy in this game, as you can see, putting the little like toothpaste and toothbrushes in the cup, I just think it's so cute. It's just so cute. And the hanging of the towel, you see that she effortlessly, effortlessly put the towel up there and um, it's just, this is really cool. Um, they really did such a good job at creating this game I agree really did. hanging of the pot like it's just it's just cool like the fact that you can like the Rubik's Cube changes the little statue dabs and the fact that they're like kind of you know they're achievements that you can get so um, I really think it just brings another fun element to this game that you really can as you said play it multiple different ways I need to get, I still need to actually get all the achievements for this game. <laughs> so I'm taking note as you uh, run <laughs> so I can do it too. But it's awesome. This is so weird. <laughs> I want to put things <laughs> on the ground <laughs> so bad. 
Like, I just really just want to, like, put it there and just be like, okay. It's easier to just be like, okay, put it, you, you go there, you go there. Right. It's, it's definitely a, a different mode, I will say that right now. Um, oh, yeah, so, definitely. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, wait, I got to put the cookie dough up here, otherwise I won't get that achievement. There it is. All right, and then you could go up there, I think, too. What's not even out of here? Oh, that's right. And there this it is. time, red means bad. <laughs> so, um, you know, if we see any red this time, we uh, we gotta move it, unfortunately. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what's cool about this one is, um, you know, uh, so there is a, uh, what do you call it in this one? Um, you have to turn on, well, how about this? Sprinkle, which one do you think that I'm going to try to aim for in this one? Um, that one. <laughs> there we go. The TV. <laughs> so, the that is definitely yes. a, um, that is definitely one of them. And what's cool to notate, and I will do it each and every single time so you can see it. Um, what's cool to notate about, or not notate, I, I say notate. Um, what's cool to note is that each time you turn on the system, it's always going to be different. Um, it's always going to be like, you know, a different game that's going to be shown. And yes, I could be packing it a little bit better, I will admit, but I'm still, you know, I still want the dark star in me. I still have the dark star. Um, but definitely have to say anyone who's interested in this speed run um definitely check it out it's a fun speed run i the only thing i would recommend is just doing some hand exercises in between but other than that like this game is just great to get together and like speed run and everything like that um so i definitely just like it's very near and dear um come here go pants you, you're good. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Definitely hand exercises. Yeah, this story is like... It hits close to home. <laughs> it's close to home. Um, no, I thought you were going to do another achievement. Yes. The other... To see, like, which ones you do win. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, um... So, the achievements are actually pretty cool. Um, once you get... Yeah the achievements down it's pretty like uh easy to just um get it done um because honestly they're it's just like it's it's basically like running the the gold but you're just doing like extra steps and so that's what's kind of fun about this one is um um the achievements to do it in between they're just so quirky and cute and you're just like that's a good achievement i mean like Oh, does this one have a bathroom? Sorry, I just had a, a moment of realizing that I have a bathroom. So there's a bathroom achievement. Yeah. That was yes. a fun one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to make sure to get that one done because bathroom is important. Um, yeah. Yes. Um, did you get the... The last one had a... The last one had a bathroom, right? The last one had a bathroom? Yeah. Oh, did it have a yeah. bathroom? Yeah. Did, did it have a toilet? Bathroom. Did it have a toilet? Oh, I have to go back to the last one. Super quick yes. then. To get that achievement. Um, I'll do that at the end. That would be the last thing to do. Come here. There you go. Okay, so let's put you in there. Let's put you in there. And then let's put you... Question marks. Where do you go? Okay, we'll just put you there. Um, so right now it's interesting, um, to watch what I'm doing. Um, mm -hmm. my settings are a little bit different, so I'm trying to get used to them. So when I complete it, when I reset the game, I forgot that it reset some other things, which is totally fine. But, um, so you just get to see more of the game though. And you get to see things kind of unpacked kind of properly. <laughs> I'm still yes, like unpacking in a weird way. Yes, this seems like a precursor to 
Rue 100%. <laughs> I'm so excited to, you know, potentially run and get that. <laughs> so that's another achievement. And then we have this kitchen. And then we're going to put things in here. Um, if anyone had any questions, happy to answer too, by the way. Woo. Okay, there you go. One thing um, that I also think is very cool in this game is that um, there's a tweet out there that someone took the air freshener can and they realized that when they put it down on different surfaces whether it be the top of the toilet the um, bed the floor it's just all different sounds and um one of the devs commented back and was like yeah there's over like 14,000 wave files so as you can go through this game and you're playing around with the different items you can definitely see and hear um, the different sounds that exist with the different items and putting them on different um, surfaces which i think is really cool oh wow yes That's a lot mm -hmm. it is it is like one of my favorite fun facts i didn't know that i like that fun fact that was a good fun fact yes yes it's cool Another, this is this is the kid. This is, this is the air freshener. <laughs> I like to make sure it's not a state on this level because the air freshener can. Um, and something also, yes, <laughs> you can flush this on it. Um, something also awesome about this game is that it's a oh, year old. It's oh my year goodness! Old this past week. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Great job, Ruth. Oh, thank you. I have to go back to the previous level really quick to go to the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that oh, wait. I went to the wrong one. Yeah. I just have to go to the bathroom. Don't worry. It's fine. This is normal. Um, Take okay, a little break. <laughs> this one, I need to go to the bathroom here. There we go. We went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is an achievement. This is a big achievement, actually. And you have to keep doing it throughout each um, level that has a toilet. Because there is one level where it doesn't have a toilet, but yeah. Okay, so this is the room you don't move everything in. Well, kind of. You have to move these. Um, yeah, so it's just kind of cool. So that background right there is like mm -hmm. my favorite, in my opinion. Yes. Yes. Even though you know that you're probably not living with a great person, what a great experience living here and just being able to look to, look down and see the bridge and the water yeah. and probably be close to a city, hustle and bustle and probably get some good eat, eating. I'm assuming we're a foodie with all of our spices and all the things that we have. Um, so it's probably some positive um, light here in this living situation. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I... So, like, this game is pretty... Like, I have to say that, like, I have so much respect for the developers. Uh, sorry, I'm distracted. Um, I just have so much respect for the developers. Um, just because... Like, even that information that you just said, that that's super, like, interesting to find out because, yeah, that that's a lot right there. But the other yeah. thing that I want to, like, say, too, that's been, like, so beautiful is that um, I love, like, you could see, like, that there's GameCube games. And so you have GameCube versus Xbox kind of thing going on. So it's just funny to see that. Um, okay, so we have this. And then we gotta go get our underwear. It's kind of weird playing the game with like one finger right now. <laughs> it's interesting right now. Um, 
Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Please. That's okay. I had a lot. I'm so, hey, you know what? It was worth showing the Rue uh, any percent, uh, yes. 100% category. <laughs> we love it. It was worth. Yeah. So uh, what you can do in this game to kind of help the speed run is um, like the mouse. Um, it would help a lot too. It's just the sensitivity of being just be able to drag the items to get there faster is basically what the setting is. And um, like going back and forth, um, that is like okay because then you're just like pressing the buttons to go back and forth on your. So I do AS uh, W A uh, W A S D. And so, yeah, like that's totally acceptable to do. Um, oh, wait, I have to do this. Okay, do you know what achievement I'm doing right now? Yes, isn't there one where you have to like organize his underwear or something? Something about his underwear. You got it. Yes. I might have some of my underwear in there, but it's okay. <laughs> you want to say, I see a little bow. All right, let's put it. Okay, so. Nice. I put his ties in here too to give me some room. Oh, no, come here. But yeah, so that's one. That's a fun achievement to do too, just because of the fact that like you're taking all of his stuff and then putting it in there. Um, yeah. That's a good one. I like that one a lot. So, what do you think about the difference between the speed rods, Sprinkle? Um, it's like mind blowing because definitely, you know. Throwing everything on the floor is, you know, asterisks, right? So like, and having to move things, you know, you get into that feeling of, oh, I have to do that. And then where in this one, it's, you know, the shoes have to go in a particular place or the yoga mat has to go in particular places. Um, definitely something is a, a game that I think like, memory is kind of important um it, it's definitely as you flip between them i can see it definitely being difficult but i think it's cool that we have options any game that gives you options on runs is cool in my book and obviously i'm a, a big proponent and lover of this game because <laughs> it's just so cool and they did a really great job um over a million copies sold <laughs> Like that back. is so cool. Yeah. Um, so it's... Yeah, it's cool. It, it's so cool. But yeah, no, I would love to... <laughs> I like this achievement. I this achievement is really interesting. Um, so what Rue just did was... And what the achievement is, is having to... You, when you put an electric... Ele electronic item... Um, in a dangerous place so she put the flat iron in the sink which is not a great place for a flat iron and she got an achievement for that um and as you may have seen it was kind of a skeleton with uh some bolts lightning bolts kind of out of it so i'm doing another achievement too by the way um so this one is a fun one it's where I, I'm gonna wait till it happens. I'm actually super excited for it. Um, I just have to bring. You're fine. Right, there you go. Where is it? This one. I'm just gonna move things around randomly. <laughs> it's You're just fine. until it happens. Um, oh, wait, I no, I'm waiting for one thing. I know which it is. I'm waiting for the one thing. It hasn't shown up yet. I know what it is. It's the things <laughs> and stuff. And yeah, that makes things sense to me. Stuff. The things, things and, stuff. and stuff. We're excited. Um, so this one's my favorite one. All the coffee lovers. It's gonna happen. <laughs> oh yeah, the coffee one. Once I get my coffee, where are you, coffee? Where did you go? Oh, I gotta get my coffee before I put that away. Okay, so we gotta do that. Where is my... Oh, my coffee's up there. That's right. I forgot. It doesn't come out of the box. Brain. There you go. Come here, coffee. So many things. There it is. <laughs> For all the coffee lovers. 
All right, so we got to put you in there, and then we have you in there, and then we're done. There's that one. <laughs> Great Yay! job. Yay! Oh, I forgot to show. Oh, well. Uh, so if you turn on the Xbox and you turn on the GameCube, there's two different games, and oh, they're yeah. two different styles that play. It's actually a really good one. If we have time after the show, I'll show it, but that's if we have time. Um... But definitely, I have to say that this was a little bit of an interesting one to do. Um, so if you do that, that's an achievement. Um, it's definitely like super cute because that's your childhood achievement. And so it's like, oh, like, here you go. You know, it's, it's such a cute one to be like reminded of home. And, you know, it's a it's a place to belong kind of thing. Um, that one's like one of my favorites. And then here's this one, which I have to do. I have to do that. That is a, like a required to get the gold star in this version. We have to do that because um, it's showing that you've broken up with your ex and spoilers, by the way, on storyline, but we kind of, we kind of seen it. Um, but basically, um, you're back at home and you're just kind of like trying to get back to, you know, how things were. Um, I know that this unpacking job could be cleaner, uh, but <laughs> in the root any percent category, we saw <laughs> how I would see it. So I think we're okay. Um, but yes. yes. <laughs> um, I'm glad everybody enjoyed that. That was honestly, I put a lot of work into it. I really did. Um, but yeah, so definitely um, it's just kind of cool to see that, you know, the transition from like being broken up to coming to home, um, you just see like your childhood and everything like that coming back. And so that's what's great about this one. Um, surprisingly, I don't have to worry about the bathroom in this one. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I don't have to go to the bathroom here. There's no toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I always found that funny. I didn't realize, you know what? It's so funny. I didn't realize that until I started doing this category. Yeah. <laughs> There's no toilet in here. Yeah. Hmm. Come here. I wonder if like, I would say it's a half bath, but I don't know if that constitutes as being a half bath. I don't know, but maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's actually um, a super common thing in some areas. I lived in New Zealand for a while, okay. and there is a bathroom and a toilet room. Okay, really? So, and so, yeah, the house that I was staying in in New Zealand and many houses do have this the toilet in a totally separate room, and then they had yeah the sink, shower, and bath in a room next to it. It was very interesting. Oh, that makes oh. sense. That I is know sometimes like in like. Um, Bar, like particularly like usually larger houses they have um in like the master they have maybe like two sinks and then a shower and then like the toilet's like in its own little like room but it's within that room i don't know but that makes sense because i think the um some of the creators are um from that side of the world so that would be interesting sense, yeah i think <laughs> which sports <laughs> love it um, which beam is the um, the dub company affiliated with this? Yeah. Yep. So, um, I so it's kind of cool to see like when you play the games for different ones. Like I said, after the show, if we have enough time, I'll show the other one from the um the other room with the ex boyfriend. Um, that one's kind of funny because you just see the difference between. Xbox and GameCube <laughs> and you're like okay all right that makes you know it, it and it's just funny because you can see it's totally different totally different but my favorite part you'll see is gonna come up I'll do it once it happens I don't want to spoil all right there you go and then we have that one I'm just putting the oh. games and the books together why not <laughs> Why not? Why not? They're all interests. <laughs> yeah. They're all interests. They all... Oh my goodness. I know when I normally play, that lamp and <laughs> remote get me every time. 
Oh, the really? The is just a little bit off. <laughs> then you like have to remove both of them. It's <sighs> yeah, the remote. It, so I wish like there's certain items that are really hard to work with because they're just super awkward. Hangers being one of them, but um, like the deodorant is surprisingly another one where you're kind of like, oh, that's an interesting one um, because like the the way that it like turns, it's kind of funny. It's just, if, when you play this game, just pay attention to what the item's, like, behavior movement is because that's kind of what makes this game, like, super fun. Because you're just yes. kind of like, oh, okay, that's that's interesting. Like, if it moves this way, there's more room, but if it moves another way, you know what I mean? It's just it's, it's yeah. just funny to watch. Um, one of my other favorite items, I know we talked about favorite items a little bit earlier, but... I really like this purple cup because you can see the chip in it um, as we've kind of gone on. There's like a little chip in it now. Um, but you know, sometimes you know you get rid of things because they break or whatever, but we clearly love this cup. And so, you know, we're gonna keep it and there's some wear and tear. I just, I don't know, I, I like it. I'm glad it's still here. My favorite items are the items that don't give me any uh, <laughs> <laughs> problems during Dark Star runs. <laughs> Fair. I have Fair. learned. I used to think, oh, this is a cute item. This is great. Right. Now I'm like, hmm. <laughs> I know what you do to me. Right. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, that's funny. My favorite items like are are the ones that don't do they, they just put go in the spot and don't give me a, a hard time <laughs> if you asked me that a few months ago <laughs> i would have been like oh the piggy is cute no the piggy is not cute anymore because it doesn't work with me no i'm just kidding oh no, no it's so cute it's so cute piggy. i still love piggy <laughs> poor piggy no piggy is actually a really good one it's just uh like in the last level especially and the baby's room. I, yeah. I will show you. It's pretty interesting that like you get to see the the last part to the last run, and like mm -hmm. it's just weird that oh okay well yeah the bathroom thinks because it's next to the toilet that works. So piggy is one of my favorite items. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like, like you have mixed feelings. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Piggy and I have been through some wars together <laughs> during it speed running. Like it. <laughs> We've been through some. Oh, uh, um, Honestly, the practicing for this was a uh, was a lot a lot of fun. It's a good speed run, like I said. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just nice and easy to get into. You know that you're committing yourself to an hour, and it's not like you know you're able to. I just recommend taking hand stretches, but. Other than that, it's just nice to be like, oh, okay, this is just really chill and just very, like, you know, aesthetically pleasing. And then, like, you're able to kind of enjoy that a little bit further. Oh, you go there. Um, I love that that just happened, though. The uh, You have those drawers open and the closet was like, no, I can't close. Like, I just... And it also did a little bounce back. There was some, like, it was just... Ah, oh, the detail. <laughs> the detail of this game is just so cool. So good. <laughs> yeah. Now, what is everybody's favorite year? That I am curious Ooh. about. That's a good question. Hmm. Hmm. What is your favorite year? I say I, I, I like whatever year was the boyfriend's house, if we can kick him out. Yeah. <laughs> And take that space. <laughs> Agree. <laughs> Agree. Yeah, and just agreed. move all his crap out. Just be like, just do the whole good old, like, you know, this isn't your house. This is my house. I would say my favorite year is the year that uh, she moves in. Where you kind of have to make yeah. room. That's my favorite year. Yeah. That's really, I like, I think I like 
the um, one where we kind of get our own place. This one, this one, um, as well as, yeah, I guess this one. Um, I, I just think it's like something cool about being out on your own. Um, yeah, I, I, think, I think, I think that's what, after all you've been through. <laughs> I, um, I, I agree with that. Cause it's a lot. You've been through a lot yeah. and you like have that independence. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, but I think second would be, um, girlfriend moving. I don't know. They're all so good. <laughs> They're all so good. Um, girlfriend moving in is really good. But also like, I do like when they like are in the house and with the baby. Oh, something about this, you know, like making it work in this apartment and, you know, got your, got your, um, kind of studio office space and just kind of vibing and trying to make it work. I like that after, you know, going back home and resetting. Yeah. I, I have to agree with that. I would say that's probably my second favorite. Maybe I don't know. The boyfriend's apartment's pretty dope. I have to admit, it is really nice like place. <laughs> I have it to admit. is. It's humble. <laughs> it's humble sometimes when you gotta move out of there. But you know, sometimes we gotta we gotta leave those places and kind of restart places for just better life. And you know, it's not easy. I'm pretty sure it wasn't an easy decision believe there but my what other favorite part do? is the character taking some of the boyfriend's stuff <laughs> 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 like those towels are his well the one towel was from the one year but the other towel was his this is an achievement right here yes so it's that's the yep yep <laughs> and then this one's another one <laughs> that one's a fun one. Yeah. I and love how each of so these. Cute. Yeah, they're so like ah. Uh. And then like the stickers are adorable too. Like, come on, they're just so cute. Um, but definitely like this is just it's a different speed run. Like this is this you're looking at a game in a different way. It's legit like super fun to just be like, oh okay, well I have this as an achievement, and so I have to put it. You know, I have to do it right here. Right. Okay. Yeah, achievements definitely add a different layer to the game. A fun one. I don't think any of them are too, um, you know, uh, out of the way, you know, to... When, sometimes I think when we think of, like, achievements and, and getting all the achievements in a game, we think of, like, oh, I have to do, like, all these extra stories or side things or fine things and in this game it's the achievement is hey you know that i have this rubik's cube solve it sort of thing and or move this microwave and like push buttons or put the cookie jar on top of the shelf it's some you know really cute fun things that stay with the character of the game you know what i just realized something sprinkle yes Another reason why I like this level is because it's raining. Oh. I love rain. Hmm. Um, rainy days are like the best days in my opinion. Cause you get to get cozy, cozy. up and then you're like yes. sitting there being like, oh, okay, onesie I either. Time. Yep. Yes. Yep. <laughs> we love onesies. <laughs> oh my gosh, these coasters. So look at the game that plays now. Oh. Isn't that cute? Oh, so cute, so cute. You can totally tell like a lot about the personality that it's, you know, her. So yeah. that's what I love about that one. It's so cute when you're like, aw. But like in the other level, you can tell like what he plays and you're like, okay, yeah, uh -huh. I see why you broke up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's so true. It's so I true. Mean, you know, sometimes we make choices that and we realize that even though someone plays video games, you know, we just don't mesh and we just shouldn't be in each other's lives like that. And protagonists realize that and did what they had to do, which is great. Love that for them. Where's my toothbrush holder? Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was a hard one to find. I was like, huh. I'll put the deodorant there for now because I need room. I I, I could have done a better job uh, packing this part right here. No, it's you're okay. Oh, well, you're fine. Okay. I think it's interesting too, you know, it's, you know, it's been a little bit of time, a couple months or something. I think it's the 2013. And, um, you know, we, we, we've accumulated some additional things, you know, as in life we do. It just really feels like a real adaptation of life. <laughs> it's like you could definitely tell this is based on a true story. <laughs> and I love it. This one's love important. The, they're so cute, yes. I think that, that, that one is so cute. Oh my God. That one's my favorite out of all the achievements. I mean, there's some pretty quirky achievements. Oh, speaking of, I gotta yeah. go to the bathroom. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Yes. Very important to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait. And then I gotta go. Oh, Here, yeah. we could we could do this, too. <laughs> <laughs> I already got that achievement, but I like doing that one because yeah. it's just quirky. It's kind of like... You know, I love that, you, you know, people like, you know, petting animals and stuff. I also like putting hat, hats on things. I think it's really cool. Like in Stardew, you can put a hat on a sea urchin in a aquarium. And I just think that is like the funniest thing. Like here you can put a hat on the like alien head thing, you know, it's just why not? <laughs> just why not? I love it. Hangers. Hangers. My existence. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope the the hangers from the last one wasn't too much. I know that was a lot, uh, just because there's not a lot of room in the um, uh, the one room. But honestly, it, it's just kind of. Uh, I hope it wasn't too much. Okay, so we'll put this right here. Um. So. I was gonna say, when you were first played this game, how long did it take you to beat it? Oh, um, I think like four hours. Yeah, I think yes. that was about like how, I think that was the same for me. Yeah, I think I like, you know, um, I think I streamed it and paused it and stuff. I'm really also, I've been moving into a thing where like I'm big on like containers and so like this like little drawer thing I loved. Um and just like everything kind of having a place. That's at least what I'm trying to move toward. Um, yeah. my next move. So um I think I took some time on kind of figuring out where things need to be. Yeah. Cause like um. even with the shoes, you gotta kinda have to There we go. They're in a certain way. Yeah, it's depending. interesting to um, the shoes are like pretty much. Uh, yeah. Now I just have these hangers. 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 Uh, uh. So um. The dress is cute. I know. Uh -huh. There's some clothes Sorry. in here that I would straight up buy. Oh my like, gosh! Same. I would just be like, okay, let's go on a shopping spree and unpacking. Why not? I know. <laughs> I know. Like, why not? Okay, so I think this is good in here. Everything's kind of... All right, we just have to unpack this. And it's then... We got this one. There you go. Um, yeah, I like that one because it's such a... Like the plant one. But the you do get the plant one kind of automatically. Um, that one's yeah. like always For like putting, as long as you have to unpack the stuff. Yeah. yeah, I just think it's so cute, the little cactus. 
I do too. It's so adorable. Just sitting there and it's like, I'm a little cactus and I'm having a great day kind of thing. Um, I'm having a weird time putting this in a certain spot because it's not liking it for some reason. So I'll have to go back to that one. Um, the other thing that I love too is that you kind of see like, oh, they got into baking and you know what I mean? Like they have like, I think they're, they're a cook or something like that. Like they got into, mm -hmm. you know, the spice of life of things. There we go. Apparently, uh, the juicer on top of the fridge is totally fine. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's an appliance. You take it down. You don't use it all the time. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. In front of the microwave, it's totally fine. Uh, okay, so this is the last level, like before. Um, so I have to go to the bathroom real quick. Yes. But I have to go to the bathroom in two places. Yes. Um, Let's see, did I get this one? Hmm. Hmm. That means I have to go to the bathroom somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's an achievement where you have to go to the bathroom. So that would be the thing that will be the time. Um, maybe when I went to the bathroom earlier in my boy ex-boyfriend's house, it didn't count. <laughs> I'm going to laugh so I hard. believe we did have a missed flush earlier. Um... I forget which home it was in, but I believe there is one that we do need to go back to. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Cool. And I'm thinking... 2010 think. flush, apparently. Oh, 2010. 2010. Okay. okay. So I have to go back in time to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's just eight years. It's fine. <laughs> That's quite a that's quite a um, time travel. Just you it know, is. <laughs> go to the bathroom. Hi, I, I came back just to go to the bathroom. Thanks. Please ignore me. <laughs> this is fine. Please, this please is fine. ignore me. By the way, your life's gonna turn out great. <laughs> <laughs> your life turns out amazing. But make sure to go to the bathroom, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's what you got to go tell yourself. Uh, oh I came back in time to tell you you gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, goodness. Okay. One of the things that I love about this, um, another cool thing they do in this game is like, as you're putting these pictures on this um, cork board, like the push pins appear. I think it's just so cute. <laughs> they just appear. I don't know why, but I just think that's really cute. Um, I did too. And uh, as you like the poster of your book, like, so cute and the copies of the book like I just it's just it's just nice to see the progression of someone's life and just you know I think there's also an underlying story that you know what in life you may have some things that knock you down but you know it can turn out okay just you gotta take care of yourself and I don't know it's beautiful <laughs> I just love it Oh no, it's definitely a great message. Mm-hmm. Things get better. Notice how we stole our ex-boyfriend's wine glasses? Just saying. Hey, that they were nice, cool. so you know. <laughs> That's what I mean by like I was like, I love that you just stole things. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not stole things. That's the wrong way to put it. Maybe maybe oh. there was a conversation had where it was given with permission kind of thing mm -hmm. where it's like, yeah, of course you can have that. Cause you know, uh, you can have it. Or, you know, you moved out and some things ended up in your box, you know, like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> Maybe it was just in the wrong box. It was in the wrong box. You grabbed the wrong box. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but if you were to play this game, you can have the accessibility option off so you could put anything anywhere. So if you ever just want to sit and do some like fun little design ideas, um, yes. it's definitely worth like doing because there's some like really, really cute concepts out there. Um, I see it on like the packing, um, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, 
Socials, there you go. The packing mm -hmm. socials. All right, so we got to go to the bathroom. And I think I have to do... There's a couple here that I have to do, but then we will be good to go. Um, time will not be done until I go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing to say. I have to go to the bathroom. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh. But um, I hope everyone enjoyed this. I uh, thank you again, Sprinkle, for commentating. It's always oh my gosh. a thank pleasure you to have me. you. Thank you for having me. I love being here with you always. <laughs> Stardew Valley co-op speedruns incoming. Yes, someday, we need to. Someday soon. We need to. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, All right. I would too. This is, um, I still want to like, okay. So like in my next downtime, I want to just sit and see what is like allowed and not allowed in this room. Cause I really disagree with certain areas, but that's just me. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little bit salty from, you know, <laughs> now after this, I'm going to do a, a dark, uh, a dark star pack, like unpacking run. And I'm going to PB and I'm going to be like, yeah. Yes, that was yeah. it. That was it. Because yeah. I think, I, I don't know, what was my time? Do you recall? I was just curious. Uh, I have to go this way. Oh, no, I don't. I was just super curious because um, I knew I was doing well. Um. Okay, where was I? I, was I think in the it bathroom. was like 50, I want to say it was like 55, 56 minutes. 55 minutes or something around there. I want to say. I could be very wrong. Yeah. That's a good time, um, I think though. Last time I looked, that's what it was. Yeah, I think you did. You did great. And it's funny, right? Because, like, um, you know, as we do runs of, like, any game, it's, like, the one thing that, like, trips you up. You might make note of it. Like, you were very adamant on, like, you know, different things. Like, oh, I know this is going to trip me up. This room is, like, going to trip me up. And sometimes it's never that thing because you already put in your mind that, Oh yeah, I gotta like move this like it's on top of your mind. Like I do the same thing um, with runs. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I may not have uh, put things in the spot because I thought to put them in there because of <laughs> Dark Star. Ignore that. I mean, you know. <laughs> it happens. Uh... Okay, so right there, that's the actual spot for that. It's a, it's so mm -hmm. funny that you just move it a little bit to the the right, and then like mm -hmm. that's what the game considers to be. Uh, what do you call it? Nope, you uh, gotta go right dark there. Dark star material are not allowed. Yeah. Um. But as we are kind of closing in, um, definitely say the community for this is amazing. Um, everybody's super sweet, super mm -hmm. nice. Um, so and yeah, like I do want to give some shout outs and love to the community because they are just amazing. Um, I'm very, very, I think I'm a very lucky person and grateful to find like really amazing speed running communities because, um, you know, it's good to be a part of them as well as like, Definitely when you see like the development to a speed run, um, you know, it, it's it's really great. I still think we should have a lava category where you don't put anything on the floor. That like, would be cool. Yeah. Remember the, like That'd that game cool. as a kid? Just be like, yeah. <laughs> you can't, you know. Yeah. Yeah, no, that would, that would be cool. It would be, it definitely be a journey to learning, you know. Yeah. Because imagine not putting anything on the floor. Right. The diploma is not on the floor. Woo! Oh, you want to know something I found out that I thought was interesting? Mmm. The diploma has to go on the floor. Has I know. To. I, I was, know. Uh, yeah, I put I it in that. the bathroom. So there is one spot you can put it. And it's in the bathroom. Ooh. And I put it in there, but the game tells you the red i was mm. so sad i was just like no 
the diploma. Oh no, I hate that. That seems like we need like a floors lava category for the simple fact <laughs> that the diploma would not be able to go on the floor. No degrees on the floor. Yeah. I need to figure out what to do with that. Like if it can't go on the floor, then we're gonna have to kind of like allow that one to go to the floor. But other than that, <laughs> everything else could probably like, I don't know. It could be, it could be something we could work on. Where it's definitely mm -hmm. just like, you know. For some reason, when I keep on saying on the floor, I think of the J-Lo song. <laughs> oh yeah. Dance the night away. Get yourself on the floor. I love that song. Um, <laughs> head outs to J-Lo. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, yeah. It's all good. It's uh, all good. We love it. We love it. So I am actually happy that I'm... Darkstar was able to finish because... Come here, your underwear. Yes. Um, because I was... I mean, it's fun to break DDQ because of internet, but <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to show off this Dark Star category. I think you did great. Yeah. No. I, and I think that, um, you know, you said perfectly that sometimes it is rough <laughs> trying to find what things need to be moved to other places. Um, I think that's something that, especially like when you first start off playing this game, even casually, that you learn what and where the game wants you to put places. And it's like, you know, it can be a little like, ah, oh, you know, oh no, <laughs> like, where do you want this? Um, but I think it's also a good mix of you being able to put things kind of where you want them and also like, okay, game, you really want this to go here. And this is like, in this one dimension or whatever, or this one um, area is where it's is allowed to go. Yeah. Um, my brain's oh, having I like totally. a yeah. No, you're, oh, that, no, you're that's fine. like one of my my favorite ones too is the egg timer. It's <laughs> yeah, it's cute. cute. It and like, cute. I just think it's just so adorable. Um, because that one's just like, and we've had it for a while, and yep. Um. And I think it's just so cool to see, like, the things that just come with you throughout the years. Like, I started in 1997, like, some of these things, you know, been with you for a long time. <laughs> um, a long time, so, like, over 20 years. I think I did that math right, yes. <laughs> over 20 years. I don't know, daylight savings, you know, it's a <laughs> full moon almost. Uh, okay, Kinda so. I think that one of my most frustrating places in this game is the kitchen. Because, like, some things it didn't want in the drawer or like some things it like if i was doing this i would probably put like the egg timer in, in the drawer um but, like maybe the game doesn't want it in the drawer maybe <laughs> in that like colander like i just you know there's some things you just put in other places um they just have to kind of learn where the game wants them mm -hmm. Honestly, so I'm getting to a point where I could probably start like memorizing the items that are coming out. Um, Cause the best way to learn the speed run in my opinion is just get into it. Um, and then yeah. just learn how to like adjust your hands accordingly because that's super important. Um, and so like, I just, I would say definitely just like Figure out the spots of where everything goes, and then after that, do the whole like, okay, I can memorize what's coming out of each box in the order that it comes out of. Cause that's kind of like the top tier runners, what they do is they will know like what box to open in what order in the right amount of space that it is in. And like, like the world record for this one is actually really impressive and super fast. Like mm -hmm. it's, it's super like, I, 
So I thought it was already pretty fast to begin with. And then all of a sudden that world record video comes in and I was like, oh my goodness, that was just so fast. Like if you watch the first level, it's legit. Like you see, um, I think the first level is done in like 30 seconds and yeah. you're just kind of like, <laughs> and that's the any yeah. percent. Like that's the, yeah. like that's super impressive because, um, you have a lot more to put up. I mean, the first level is like, you know, that's with the introduction to the game and everything like that. But at the same time, um, the first level is like, it's just, it's just like, it's so fast. Like, I just, I cannot express enough how fast it is. Um, so it's just kind of cool like that. Um, so... Oh yeah, this is yeah, the TV remote. No, I agree. Um, but I think uh, if you're interested in running this game and you want to kind of try it out, you can definitely do individual levels. And I probably recommend that to get a good feel of like, you know, if you want to go fast. So getting the clicking and getting a feel of those boxes in those particular levels. And maybe choose your own your favorite level and start there. Um, and do that yeah there is yeah. A, yeah go ahead sorry yeah oh no sorry i was just thinking about how fast like people do the first level <laughs> oh it is so fast i was just like i watched the world record bot and i was just like oh, okay because like you can so the timer doesn't start until um you know you touch the first box and the first box like you can kind of prep the room so mm -hmm. like to get ready for like you know the game to um sorry i'm kind of putting the things in the stuff um no you're fine yeah, yeah so you can open cabinets you can move the pillow yep um you can do a lot of things particularly in that first level to kind of ready yourself um, or re ready to prep the room so that you can just start throwing things where they need to be. <laughs> um, which is, ooh, a familiar tale. Oh, wait, I was just there. Whoops. Okay. Is a, uh, this is super awkward with just like my hand being on the. Fine. I think there was a pot on the floor, it looked like. I don't know if that's allowed, but. With the pot on the floor. <laughs> Everybody go to the pot on the floor with the pot on the floor. This is starting to sound really weird. Because I realize how it sounds. So let's have it stop now. Okay, there we go. Um, that was a good segue to that. We think um, that's great. <laughs> I love that song, as you can tell. That song is a great yes. party song. Um, love it. has a good beat. Mm -hmm. My favorite part is how many chickens there are. That's They're another so thing. They are so the adorable, are so too. Cute. They're little chickadees. Chickadoos. Mm -hmm. They're so cute and chicky. Um, I really love this comforter. But, I was really yes. looking at it a little earlier when you were doing other rooms in this. Um, but I was like, oh my gosh, I love this color. <laughs> Sorry, I just really love this color. Is it bad that I kind of want to like buy everything? <laughs> I just want to be like, just just have my whole house unpacking. It's fine. This is fine. <laughs> um, I need to figure out that in a second. That's going to be a thingy. Um, but seriously, like, the whole, like, packing is super duper cute. Um, okay, so we'll put all this right here. Now we'll put this in the right spot for anyone <laughs> who was bothered by that before, a.k.a. <laughs> me. Um, it was bugging me a lot. It bugs me a lot, a lot of times where I have to actually like put things in the wrong spot and I purposely have to. But now I put in everything in the kind of right spot. <laughs> it's still not in the right spot. Um, I mean, close-ish, you know? Love it. Yep. That's another one. Another one. So for this one, we just need, I think the toilet and then we're good to go. Um. So it was 2010, we said? I didn't flush the mm -hmm. toilet with my ex? Yes. Okay. Apparently, I didn't want to go to the bathroom then. Um, mm -hmm. 
you wanted to do other things. Yeah. Get out of there. I was too busy organizing the closet. <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright, so this could go right there. This is actually a surprising one that, um... Mm -hmm. like, Agreed. Kind of, Ducky. like, it's actually surprising where you can put that one. Um... Okay, Bunny can go right there. Yeah, I would think that that one would like need to go on the couch in the living room or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just yeah, I don't know. But that is something that I was like, oh, really? That's okay on the floor. Yep. All right. Definitely so this one, one goes right there. there. So that's fine. You're not fine. Okay. See, it's so much easier to find the problems in here. Yes. <laughs> so much easier. Without everything being red. Yep. When it's red, you're just like, oh, that, that's yeah, there's that's a pot on the floor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then let's see, where am I? Where's the problem? Where are you? Oh yeah, I knew it. Okay. Um, let's just put these right here. Okay. Even though that's a star, that's not time. I have to go to the bathroom. So, no time still. I have to, <laughs> I have to go back in time because I have to get my, I have to tell myself to go to the bathroom. Um, oh no no game no no. Why did Rue? What are you doing? I wanted to show the Tiki D's again, but so as cute. soon as um, the bathroom happens, that is time. So once I flash that and then I show that, you know. I do Hello. time, but oh yeah, 2010, I went really far. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so back here, this is where we gotta go to the bathroom. Oh hey, wait, while I'm at it, why don't I just show? There you go. Oh, yeah. I can afford the time. It's fine. See, look at this! Android, Android. Cold War, okay? Cold and then look War, at this. Please. We have this! Lash and Dash! Lash and Dash? <laughs> okay, That's there cute. it is. All right, that's time. Yay. Now, nice. to show that I did it, I have to show that I did all of it because that is time. Yes. But, um, so to show that okay. it is done, ta-da! Yes, great job, Rue, that was awesome. Yay! So that's time. And that is 100% achievements category. Going back in time and going to the flash bathroom in my ex's house was what we needed to do. But I hope... <laughs> Everyone had a lot of fun. I am super, super honored that it was showcased. I was able to show two different categories and they're vastly different. Anyone who wants to see the speedrunning community, um, amazing folks, amazing community. Um, I want to thank you, Lana, for having me on the show. And Sprinkle, I love you. Thank you so much for commentating. It was a lot of fun just chilling and hanging out with you. And thank you for big having me. shout outs to the GDQ. All GDQ. Love you, GDQ fam. And um, <laughs> yeah, and and love everybody in chat. You're all GDQDs in my heart. I had a ton of fun. And I'm going to sneeze. Okay, it's your turn, Sprinkle. <laughs> Thank sneezed. you for having me. Um, this has been great. Uh, I had a great time. Unpacking is a great game. Make sure you get unpacking and check it out. And I awesome. And All good. Thank you for having me again. Great. Awesome. Thank you so much, Rue. Everyone, let's give another round of applause to the lovely cutie Rue for showcasing not only a slightly, maybe very chaotic Dark Star run, uh, but a fantastic 100% achievements run as well to, you know, ideally maybe take some of that slight disorganization edge off. <laughs> so we have made it through two incredibly cozy runs for the evening. And that brings us to the end of yet another episode of She is Speed. Thank you to everyone who stuck around for Bargain Bin earlier and for our show right now. Just a reminder that Hotfix is on every single day of the week. And tomorrow we have Game Masters followed by Time Capsule. I know in particular Time Capsule is featuring some movie-themed games. Games that are based off of movies might be a better, better way to put it. So uh, make sure to pop in for that. It's going to be loads of fun. Um, and just a reminder, as we had mentioned earlier, uh, the AGDQ 2023 online schedule has been released. So if you want to see that preliminary schedule, 
go check it out. Also, our second submission period for games that have been released after September 1st is now open until November 12th. So make sure to visit gamesdonequick.com for all of that information regarding the next event, major, major event that we have coming up, uh, which will be at the start of January. So thanks so much again for hanging out with all of us today. It was so much fun and I hope you had fun too. Uh, my name is Lana Roos and we have been here with Cutie Roo and Sprinkle Theory for loads of unpacking. So stick around after the break. We'll be raiding out and sharing that love. But that is all from us here at Games Done Quick tonight. Thanks for hanging out with all of us on Hotfix and we'll catch you tomorrow for more Hotfix shows. Good night, everybody.